Yo, if you right handed, you know you right handed and you don't understand it, what Triple G the planet tell him, please stand up. Please stand up. Please stand up. If you right handed, you know you right handed and you don't understand it, what Triple G the planet tell him, please stand up. Please stand up. Please stand up. You right handed, you know you right handed and you don't understand it, what Triple G the planet tell him, please stand up. Please stand up. Please stand up. Dope Sports Talk Worldwide with some news from the world of boxing. So y'all know what time it is. You ain't in a rush to get concussed. Yeah, that was the new one coming out from the group 5460. Right? Our boy Triple G, your man, Janati Golovkin, you know, 160-pound juggernaut, looking for a fight for May the 5th. I was told you that everybody who is somebody has been trying. Well, I was checking out the interview, and in the interview, basically, the first thing they said is, well, it ain't going to be no softballs. You know, so that means all the softballs are out. So don't be asking us no Demetrius Andre questions. That's what the interview seemed like to me at the beginning. It was like, okay, no softball. Only one really froggy right now is Demetrius Andre. We know Eris Nandi Lara been wanting for who knows how long, but that wouldn't have been possible anyway. But the point here is, okay, no softballs. And, you know, reporters start asking about Marata and Spike O'Sullivan, right? Uh, Marata's not bad, but so Sullivan, uh, you know, I don't know if I'll be a reporter, be, you know, use my chance to talk to uh, my man Golovkin about Spike O'Sullivan when I know names out there, you know, real good names that are ready to fight him right now. The thing is, is, you know, from 154 and 160 pound division, I, is there anybody relevant that doesn't want to fight him? Triple G has turned into the so-called most avoid fighter, most avoided fighter to the most wanted. You know, it's like it's, I don't really know of anyone. If you look, look at the 154 landscape, uh, you know, it's Jamel Charlo. You know, he'll do it. His brother Jamal begging right now. So, you know, he'll do it. You know, like my brother going to do it and me, I'm not me. He would do it. Jared Hurd just beats Laura in an epic fight. I haven't seen it yet. I'm well, saving it, as a matter of fact. Um, check it out. But Jared Hurd comes through that, right? Good fight. Now, uh, he's willing to do that, coming from 154 to, to fight him. Uh, it's just pretty much no one who doesn't. In 160 pounds, we talked about it over and over. It's pretty much everybody, all the mandatories, if it's Darren Chingo, if it's Charlo, Dimitri Andre, who's out of it because he's a southpaw, uh, you know, Jacobs will call his fight off. Doesn't matter. Everybody wants to, that May 5th date or whatever. And Billy Joe Sound is just, his hand's just injured. He probably would have jumped in. But then, although he didn't want to be a, he didn't say, you know, you know I'm not going to be no second choice. So that would probably be a little bit of a problem. But I know that they uh, are willing to fight Golovkin as well. So what we're doing, is we're running out of people who don't want to fight him. So it's going to be, be very hard to find an opponent right now. And I think it's like I said in other videos, it's going to be hard uh, to take somebody really easy here because kind of people are paying attention. Like I said, from the group 54, 60, everybody in 154, everybody in 160. I think, to be honest with you, you know, Gluck could probably do better at 168, uh, to be honest with you. Cause I, you know, we just saw uh, uh, Caleb Truex and James DeGale. I give Golovkin a shot against any one of those, right? Uh, George Grove, I give him a good shot. I thought that would be big. George bigger than him, but I think Golovkin could probably do a good job against George Grove. Yeah, I think Gilbert, Gilberto Ramirez would be a problem. Softball, long, believes in itself. Uh, you know, that would be a, a hard one. But I think Golovkin probably does well at 168. Because uh, 160 right now, the walls are closing in. I don't, uh, I don't like their posture from the interview that I'm looking at. It was like, please don't ask us questions about, you know, fighters that uh, are going to give us a hard fight. Right now, I didn't really, you know, it's like you really want to hear to see the fighter. Like, listen, I've been hearing this dude talk some stuff and this one, too, you know. And, uh, yeah, we want to get them. So I don't get, I don't get my mandatory out of the way right now since I don't have, I'm not fighting Canelo. Then all the mandatory is feeling froggy. Derrick Chico is a right-hander. Right, Jacobs, I barely beat. He's a right hander. Let me get him. Jamal Charles, a mandatory. Let me get him. They'll fight me and they'll call all these fights off to get with me. Let's take care of some business then, since Canelo is you know out the box for a minute. You just don't hear it now. Whatever you guys can interpret it how you would like. 
uh, you know, I just see fighters posture where I would say he wants to fight one of these guys or his team wants him to. It seems like right now we're not going to get some. I think it's pretty much going to be Spike O'Sullivan. Unfortunately, let's hope we're wrong about that. But like I say, everybody 154, 160 seem to be uh, wanting to fight uh, Golovkin right now. Let's see what happens going for, uh, forward. I hope he please stands up. Please stand up. Please stand up. Dome Sports Talk. Worldwide. And I'm about to hear y'all.